Hello, my name is Ben Lovegrove, and in this video, I'm going to list 10 tips for private pilots flying to the Bahamas from the USA. This list was written by AOPA technical editor Jill W. Tallman, and is reproduced here with her kind permission. Jill is an instrument-rated private pilot who owns a Piper Cherokee 140. In the description below this video, you'll find a link to her article on the AOPA website, where you can read more articles of this type. This advice is aimed at US private pilots making the crossing from the US mainland. The Bahamas loves general aviation pilots. And pilots love going to the Bahamas. It's a short flight from the Florida coast over the Atlantic Ocean that transports you to beautiful beaches, delicious seafood, and so much more. A Bahamas flight requires a certain amount of preparation, but with these tips, you can make your trip without too much stress. Number one, start gathering paperwork now. No matter when you think you might make the trip, it's never too soon to start gathering paperwork for the pilot and the aircraft. Is your passport current? Customs sticker. These are valid for one calendar year. Order one at the start of each year and it's ready when you are. Station license. Airplane. This is valid for five years. Restricted radio telephone operator's permit. Pilot. This is valid for the holder's lifetime. Number two, beg, borrow, or rent. Life vests are a requirement for every person in the airplane. Jill borrowed two from a colleague who had made numerous trips over water. He also had a soft cover copy of the Bahamas Pilot's Guide, which Jill also borrowed, even though she had downloaded it to her iPad. A backup is always good. Jill rented a life raft, not required but a good idea, from Banyan Air Services at Fort Lauderdale Executive Airport for $35 per day and considered it cheap insurance. Number three, go with other pilots. During her first crossing as pilot in command, Jill wanted the comfort of traveling with other pilots, some of whom had made the overwater trek and some who hadn't. It's great to be able to compare notes before and after flights. Number four, plan your exit strategy. You can depart from any airport within range. Jill chose Fort Lauderdale Executive Airport because of Banyan Air Services, the fixed-based operator. Banyan is known for its expertise in Bahamas travel. Why not launch from a place where you have experts on hand for last-minute questions? Number five, set up EAPIS in advance, at home, with good Wi-Fi. Create your electronic advanced passenger information system account well in advance. A confirmation email with activation key from US Customs and Border Protection can take as long as a week. Number six, file your EAPIS manifest and notices of departure arrival in advance at home with good Wi-Fi. Similarly, don't leave it to the day of departure to complete the EAPIS manifest or notice of arrival or departure. You can file this well in advance. The cutoff time is one hour before the flight. Filing it as early as you can gives you a little extra time to breathe while you prep for the flight. Number seven, brief and practice ditching strategy with your passengers in advance. Who will be in charge of the life raft? Who's going to hold the satellite phone? Do you have a tool to break aircraft windows? Review ditching videos and articles at home before the trip. Number eight, fill out Bahamas customs forms online. Use the link below this video to pre-fill in a Form C7A with everything except your time of arrival. Print out four copies. This saves you from having to make duplicates when you arrive in the Bahamas at your airport of entry. Number nine, speaking of forms, there are forms, forms, and more forms, not to mention receipts. 
Jill brought a single folder to carry these items. Next time, she plans to use a thin binder with pockets. And number 10, know your position. Freeport's Grand Bahama International Airport is a towered airport but does not have radar. VFR and IFR pilots may be requested to give a position report. Arriving at Freeport, Jill and her companions were prepared to give radial and distance from the ZFP VOR, and they were watching their position relative to other fixes on the Miami sectional. That concludes Jill's list of tips. Have you ever flown to the Bahamas as a private pilot? Post a comment below giving your best tip. Thanks for watching. If you found anything of interest in this video, then please subscribe to my channel by clicking the red subscribe button. And don't forget to click the bell. That way you'll be notified directly of any new videos. While you're there, please click the thumbs up button to give it a like and post a comment to tell me what you liked or disliked about this video. Finally, please share this video with friends and colleagues and in social media so that others may view it and comment. By subscribing, commenting, liking and sharing these videos, I'll know what I'm doing right and will continue to make videos that people want to watch.